Hi guys, this is Ajay. Today I am going to show you the part design of crane hook. So entering into the part design, name the part that is crane hook. Okay. Now select the front view that is the front plane. Enter into the sketch work bench. Now create a circle from your origin point of radius is. 62 mm okay now select a line command draw a horizontal line at the top of the circle give its length is about 60 mm okay now make this line symmetry with the vertical axis by selecting two angle points of the line and vertical axis give the geometrical constant that is symmetry okay now give the vertical distance of this horizontal line from horizontal axis about 2 10 mm okay now zoom out uh, select on arc by three points create an arc okay to avoid this default by default constraint so we have to press and hold for shift button here it's taking by default only and uh, some constraints so we have to avoid this so, so for this we have to sh uh, click and hold shift button it will avoid the taking up by default constraints okay now create an arc mm. okay now select this arc endpoint and horizontal line endpoint make it coincide okay now arc and uh, this arc and circle make it tangency okay uh, drag this center point so a little bit okay now make this arc endpoint and uh, circle coincidence by selecting this arc okay give the arc radius is 150 mm okay now nice now we have to select easily arc endpoint and mm. circle give the coincidence okay afterwards uh, select a circle create and circle at a same plane to avoid this constraint so shift and hold uh, click and hold the shift button and create a uh, circle of radius is 15 mm okay uh, for pushing this circle make a uh, give the dimensions vertical and ex, uh, horizontal dimension by selecting center point of this circle okay select this center point of this circle and uh, horizontal axis give the vertical distance that is about 65 mm okay now select this circle center point and vertical axis give the horizontal distance that is about 150 mm okay now select arc by three points that is create an arc so avoid this uh, default question same procedure shift and hold the mm, uh, click and hold the shift button okay now create an arc mm, make it arc and uh, the circle tangency okay now same select this arc and this circle give tangency okay now select this arc endpoint and circle make it coincide okay uh, same here select this arc endpoint okay zoom in select this arc endpoint is okay take it drag out and select it make it coincide okay now give the arc radius that is about arc radius must be 180 mm okay now it's iso constraint check for iso constraint now it's iso constraint make it now trim the unwanted sketches from the sketch okay make it this circle and this horizontal line as a constraint to lines okay now exit from the sketch create a point on the arc 
so that we have to create a few uh, reference layer planes on this arc so create an arc that is parallel to that origin point okay on this arc okay here we created a point now select a play reference plane keep it in normal to this curve okay select a curve and select the point where we have to place the plane okay now okay now place two more circle reference planes on the curves that is by selecting these two end points okay now select curve and this end point okay okay now we have created uh, three reference planes these on these on reference planes we have to create three different profiles so that we have to easily multi sections uh, create a multi section solid uh, in the ratios so select this sketch enter into the sketch workbench sweep it reverse of horizontal okay enter into the sketch create an circle circle of radius is 50 mm 50 mm circle okay now select this circle center point and horizontal axis make it coincide okay now this uh, or, uh, circle perimeter and this send on the created point make it coincidence okay now same create uh, another circle of uh, radius is 18 mm double click on radius give the radius is 18 mm okay now same select the circle the center point and uh, horizontal axis make it coincidence okay now drag the circle inside the circle and select this um, bigger circle also so give the distance between these two circles that is according to the uh, how much uh, width or the thickness of the uh, crane hook we were required according to on that big uh, thickness we have to give the distance between these two circle that is here i am going to give 150 minus of 88 okay 150 minus of 62 that is 88 mm okay now create a line from this circle in a slope okay now select this line and this circle give the tangency okay afterwards select this point and circle make it coincide okay now same this line is mirror into mirror to the horizontal axis then select these two end points of the sloped lines give the vertical distance that is 60 mm vertical distance is 60 mm this uh, vertical distance must be the width of the crane hook so now we have to remove the unwanted sketches from this sketch okay select a trim and remove unwanted sketches okay exist from this sketch and create uh, another two sketches on these two profiles so that enter into the uh, plane and that is reverse and position sketching ok enter make it fit same create here one circle um, the circle diameter must be the 60 mm ok now select the center point of the circle make a coincide with the horizontal axis and the circle outer line and that uh, end point of that uh, little bit twisted so we have to get easily to understand okay here we have to circle outer line and this point the plane uh, center point is there on on that point we make it coincide okay like that exit from this sketch so create same on this plane also that is uh, sweep it reverse of horizontal 
okay enter into this sketch workbench and drag down make it little bit twisted okay let it be okay uh, create an circle make it normal okay and now select this uh, point and uh, horizontal like this make it coincide okay select this uh, outer line of circle and this center point of the plane make this to coincidence Same enter into this same search, okay. Selecting this plane, uh, slap it, slap, okay. Horizontal line, okay. Here we have to create a circle. Okay, the circle diameter must be 15 mm. Okay, select this center point, select this center point, vertical axis. Okay, mm, make it coincidence. Now, select this the outer line of the circle and this point, make it coincide. Okay, the diameter, not diameter, here we have to give diameter must be 30 it's too small 15 okay so diameter must be 30 okay now exist from this sketch okay now make these uh, three places head so that we don't disturb by this okay now select a multi-section solid select these three sketches okay one two and three okay after selecting these three, three sketches uh, the spine selection that is spine must be the here okay keep coupling in ratios okay now here is the some important point during spine or guide we must be check out the closing point must be on same plan same point on this all three sketches okay so replace these closing points on the same spine um, points okay uh, check for this one closing point okay it must be in same point but here's a little bit uh, okay direction in different direction so change this direction okay now preview for it yeah it's created okay then okay check for this one this is the hook we have to a little bit okay so little bit changes the uh, tip of the uh, tip of the crane hook so sketching for here select this uh, surface select the sketch workbench or enter into the workbench okay create a circle of uh, 15 mm that is 30 mm diameter okay make this circle and this one coincide center city okay now create an axis according to vertical axis okay trim the unwanted part of the circle half of the circle we sketch okay exist from the sketch uh, select a removal option select and uh, also preview for it okay we created tip of the cranon that's like this okay afterwards now we have to create the grippers that is top of this one uh, that is selecting this sketch reverse of the and reverse of edge enter into the workbench okay mm, here create an arc about uh, 70 mm diameter 70 mm diameter select this sketch and this part make it concentricity by selecting this part and this one 
make it concentricity okay exit from this cage before that we have to call a here we have to insert a body so it has to assemble here okay uh, make it cut and copy select this cage cut and paste here in this body paste okay sorry body get copy okay let it be uh, after uh, select after uh, inserting a one body enter into this sketch workbench okay sketch for it reverse vertical and horizontal okay uh, sketch and circle of uh, diameter is what must be the diameter diameter must be 70 mm okay selecting this uh, circle and uh, this one circle make it concentric setting concentric setting okay exit from the sketch and pad for it the padding is about 22 mm right okay now make this body to assemble with the part design okay now select the same upper part of the part design sketch and enter into sketch workbench for the shaft of the tree lock okay now adjust it create another one shaft another one uh, circle of uh, shaft diameter must be the what will be the shaft diameter as we required uh, shaft diameter must be okay 70 is given for the center that one uh, shaft diameter here given as okay 52 mm okay you may select this uh, circle and this one make it concentricity okay exit from the sketch pad it about uh, length of 170 mm okay uh, for this also we have to insert one body okay inserting body by selecting these two body these two parts cut it and body here we have to paste okay we again create an another body and make it assemble with the part uh, part work okay means crane crane hook that is assembled okay now zoom in zoom out okay now select for the threading uh, for threading we enter dress of features select threading feature okay according to the standards mm, metric thick th standard okay here uh, m52 is uh, we given diameter is as 52 so select the m52 standard okay uh, the thread depth must be the 30 mm and uh, select the lateral surface and uh, the distance from the reference plane uh, reference uh, surface must be the top surface and about distance is 30 not 30 gives 30 is too small 75 mm okay okay preview for it here we created threads for the shaft okay now this is our completion of crank shaft crank shaft okay this is how we uh, design for a crane hook after this uh, completion of assembly we completed uh, the assembly must be completed in next uh, tutorial so thank you for watching i hope you have learned something from this video thank you for this showing okay we have to uh, material addition is there shading of edges is there okay few more adjustment is there in the uh, future tutorial i am going to show you how to add materials and how to add shading points colors okay okay thank you see you in few days bye